first phase of high speed two was given its royal assent last week. What that means is that the project will now be going ahead in earnest. And we want to take the opportunity to thank our members, supporters and other organisations who've helped us make a difference to the environmental impact of high speed two to explain a little about what's been achieved in the seven years we've been dealing with the project and what our concerns are for the future. In terms of what we've achieved over the last seven years, working together with other organisations we've managed to push for some important sites to be avoided, largely through tunnelling under parts of the Chilterns, under ancient woodlands. Um, the local MP, Cheryl Gillam, was uh, highly influential in terms of getting that proposal put forward and then working together with the Woodland Trust we were able to get the tunnel extended under three further ancient woodlands relatively recently. We've also got a commitment out of HS2 to bring forward a Barn Owl action plan. Without that action plan, the London to Birmingham stretch of the railway is expected to kill 1% of the UK's breeding population of barn owls every year it's in operation. So that plan's really important to make sure that nest boxes and habitat are provided away from the danger zone around the line so that barn owls have a, a, a reasonable future. We've also been very concerned about the impact on Bechstein's bats, one of the rarest mammals in the UK. The route runs right through the middle of the colony and research undertaken for us by Professor John Altrigham and Dr Anna Bertie Nusson showed that without appropriate mitigation it was quite likely that that colony, colony would be completely um, destroyed. Now what HS2 Limited have agreed to do is to put in green bridges for the bats and underpasses, various other bits of woodland planting to try and redirect the bats. We don't know whether it will be successful but they stand a far better chance now because of work we've undertaken together with the North Bucks Bat Group to push that mitigation forwards. So I want to say a huge thank you to all those people who've helped us. In terms of concerns going forwards, we still have impacts on some of our nature reserves at Finemere Woods and Calvert Jubilee. They'll be directly affected at Western Turville the water supply. We're very concerned about the impact on that, which feeds the very important Fen Meadow there. But we are working together with other people to look at these impacts and to try and make sure that they're minimised as much as possible and compensated for properly. So thank you to all our members who've supported us over seven years who helped us push for legal action in the early days to try and get some of the processes changed. That's been very effective too, but there's quite a big challenge now in terms of getting the project to work on the ground in ways that minimise the effect on wildlife and where possible actually make things better through providing habitat linkage. So thank you everybody.